To allow the space for crying, the space for sighing, to accept the space for anger and the space for hate, to give the space for love and the space to listen, to embrace the space for solitude and the space for a crowd, to welcome the space for expression no matter how allowed. This is what a true friend does, allows you space to spread your wings like the wildest of pure white doves. And if this space you disallow or you cannot find, then you commit a crime upon your friend's mind. We came into being as individual aspects of one whole, free to spread our etheric wings, free to experience our senses in any way we choose. These are our eternal spiritual rights. We are like the woodland flower, seemingly delicate, minute against the vast forest. But our beauty and diverse colour allows us to stand as equals and in power with the towering oak, maple and ash. We would even help our worst enemy from the mire of destruction if we were in the more able position. If a time of despair befalls humankind, we would not gloat on who was right and who was wrong, for it is the vileness of evil that sits smug and reaps an arrogant reward over an argument won. When a calm breeze succumbs to the wrath of the storm, it is an act of spiritual kindness to reach out a hand of love, regardless of what the downfall and has done, deserve it or not. A good friend sheds a tear at another's pain and does not smile when their blood is spilled into the dirt. One of the greatest tests of our life is to know how to help those who have acted against ourselves, especially if one finds oneself in the stronger position when the mountains begin to fall. Narrow minds seldom find diverse friendships. A narrow mind walks a tight corridor and refuses to walk through the doors leading into rooms of knowledge. We are an ancient kin of starlight lore, descended to earth in a bid to learn more. It's the peace of friends, that's what we seek, for it allows us to caress the needy and lift the weak.